Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Ultimate Survivor. This is the channel that I'm taking around Africa, showing you the coolest stuff in Africa. Talking about tourism, we talk about wildlife and uh, nature, and also the conservation in Africa. We talk about uh, uh, the cultures of Africa, and we're showing you around uh, the places in Africa, and uh, the places that you can consider visiting in Africa. So this is a very good place for you if you want to visit Africa, if you are here in Africa, you want to learn more stuff that happens in your continent, this is the channel to stick around and to follow all the time. Each and every day we drop new videos that are valuable with uh, valuable information that you need to know. So today we are talking about the mammals that are called the ungulates. The mammals that are called the ungulates. What are ungulates? What are ungulates? That's a question. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe, activate the notification bell so that when a new video is released, you are notified automatically. So this is the channel that you need to subscribe to. And also when you're watching our videos, if you are making sense, don't forget to give us a like. That like will promote our, our channel a lot and then that will help us a lot to grow. So please help us to grow, help us to reach some, to so many people with the valuable information and the messages that come from Africa. So as we are talking about the ungulates, I said earlier on that the ungulates, we have two uh, types of ungulates. The ones that are called the perisodactyls, the ones with the odd toes. They have odd toes. We know the odd number one three five so it depends with the number of toes that they have so the pairs of the tiles have got odd toes then another group of ungulates is called the ashio tiles the ashio tiles these ones have got the even toes two four six depending on the number of toes so we are grouping these mammals according to their orders and families so which families fall under the pairs of the tiles, which families or which orders fall under the family perisodactyles. So the order perisodactyla, we have the rhinos and we have the zebras. So the rhinos fall under the family rhinocerotidae and the zebras fall under the family equidae. So the rhinos have got three toes on each and every leg and the zebras have got only one toe on each and every leg. So these are the toes that they use to balance with when they tiptoe as they walk around. So we are going to talk about the rhinos, uh, whereby we are starting with the black rhino. The black rhino that is called the hook-lipped rhino because of its upper lip. It's hook-shaped like this because of the adaptation of its feeding habit. It feeds mainly on the branches of the trees and the twigs and the leaves. So when it's feeding, the way they cut their, 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 their food they use mostly the upper lip so that's why the upper lip is hooked like that so we call this rhino the hook lift or the black rhino or the Diceros biconis so that's the scientific name Diceros biconis so this rhino actually uh, gives birth to only one young one any time throughout the year they don't have a peak season but normally most of the animals would love to give birth during the winter months where there is green and fresh uh, food that they can always teach their young ones to feed on so they give birth to only one young one so that's this is done after a gestation period of about 15 to 16 months and these animals can live up to about 40 years as in the world this is the black rhino and most of the times the females tend to be larger than the males this is the black rhino then we go on to the white rhino the white rhino, the one that we call the square-lipped rhino, it has got wide lips because of the adaptation to grazing. This one is a grazer, it feeds mainly on the vegetation matter on the ground, the grasses and uh, the other heads that are found on the ground. So it is like a lawn mower, it cuts the grass, it's actually like a cut, cut it short. And it prefers the shorter grass like the thimeda and the paniquium grasses. So these are the grazers. The square lipped are uh, the white rhino. So they are always found where there is availability of grass, like mostly in the open grasslands. They are also 
are facing extinction and they are always protected. For you to see these animals, you need to book a tour into the game reserve where these rhinos are found. That's where you get to see them. So you need to, to know how to distinguish between the two, between the black and the white rhino. So in the following topics, we are going to distinguish that. We're going to actually lay it on the table so that you know, so that when you come to Africa, when you are doing a tour, when you come to a safari, you can easily tell by simply looking at one of these rhinos and you can know that this is a black rhino and this is a white rhino. So this one also gives birth to only one young one after a gestation period of about 15 to 16 months and also it doesn't have a peak period or the peak season for uh, giving birth. But as I said earlier, that most of the animals will give birth when there is fresh grass that they can teach their young ones to feed on. So that's how they do it. They live up to like 40 years as well, just like the black rhino. These are the rhinos that fall under the family rhino serotidae and they fall under the order Perisodactyla, the odd toed ungulates. So these are some of these animals. So we are going on into the uh, family Epidae, the zebras. Okay, so guys, if we are still making any sense to you, please don't forget to like the channel and don't forget to activate the notification bell when you subscribe to the channel so that you become part of the family. And uh, please also share the channel and share the videos with your friends and family, the ones that you think would love to learn much about the things that we are talking about. So we are heading on to the family Equidae. These are the zebras. The family Equidae. These are the zebras. We've got the Pocelli zebra. This is the Ikasa uh, Pocelli. Then we've got uh, the mountain zebra or the Cape mountain zebra. The Ikas zebra zebra. And we've got the Hartman's zebra. This is the Ikas uh, zebra Hartmani, the, which is the subspecies of the Cape uh, mountain zebra. And we've got the Gravy zebra. This one is called the Ikas Gravy, which is confined to North Kenya. So all these uh, zebras will give birth to only one young one after a gestation period of about 360 to 390 days. Mostly is during the winter months where there is green grass. So what happens with these uh, zebras in the wild? When they give birth to a young one, well, in most cases, another male zebra will just come in and then he will try to kill the fowls that he found in the, in the family so that he makes his own babies. So they kill the fowls that do not belong to them, so that they make their own. So in most cases, we find the female zebras fighting the intruder or the new males who comes into the family because they will be trying to stop him from killing the fowls that they have already. So that's how they propagate their genes. They come in, fight and kill the young fowls and then they make the babies of their own. So these animals, most, in most cases, they are grazers, but some of them will browse here and there, but they are grazers. They feed mainly on the vegetation matter on the ground. So they look like donkeys, they look like zebras, just like the donkeys that we know. And uh, the males tend to fight a lot using their modified um, teeth that are found right on the upper jaw. So they can fight up until they kill one another biting one another and also when kicking the zebra can kill a lion with a single kick so they are very dangerous animals and when they drink water we go into the uh, drinking point or like a watering wall when they just stand there drinking water what they do they will be watching right in the middle of their hind legs watching for the predator that comes in or sneaking in trying to catch and uh, kill the zebras or kill the fowls so they look closely and they come together to guard one another. They watch one another's back. So their defensive mechanism is kicking. They kick and kill the predators in most cases. But we have seen them being predated by lions in most cases because they understand the flesh from the zebra is a bit softer. So when the lions kill them, they, that's when they teach their cubs to feed on the, on the flesh through their zebra flesh. So these were the families that were covered, or these are the families that falls under the order Perisodactyla, the zebras and the rhinos. So guys, continue to support us with the likes, continue to support us with subscribing to the channel, to the channel so that the channel will grow, and also continue to support us by sharing this channel 
to your friends and relatives and talking to your friends and relatives about this channel so that this channel will grow very big and rich to the whole world teaching people about things that happens in Africa so we are still going on and the next video that we're gonna drop it will be uh, the, the video that talks about the ungulates that are even told this one is a wider one this one is a broader one because it includes all the zebras all the giraffes it includes all the antelopes that you know they are all even told angulars so it's a wider one and you have to listen and watch closely and you have to follow it all the time so whenever we drop a new video if that bell icon is activated we will make sure that we notify you so please press up and walk with us this journey for me the ultimate survivor Love you guys.